Come this way, we ready to go. See that one? All right. Y'all. Yeah. My man went up, up through there real quick. Do I, have, do I want to do liquor today? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It is, but I got a long day, so I'm not going to do that to myself, man. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back for another episode of No Draws, and we're going to put our hands together let everybody know who you are. We got a special guest today. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm somebody now. I'm on No Draws Podcast. It's your boy, Big Papa Wolf, my five wolf CEO and owner, creative director of my sign clothing streetwear brand. First of all, he came out here with the goals on today, ready for ready for the smoke. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey man, like you know what's crazy? The first time I, I met you, I, I had ended up seeing you at we was at a party for Marcus Harvey when he Damn. opened the Moose Lair, and you yeah. had locks, bro. Yeah, I cut the locks. Cause yeah, cause when I was like, wait, hold up, this can't be the same person. <laughs> It's like they look like they related, but he ain't got locks. Yeah, yeah. And then I ended up seeing a, a fit. You gave Tyler. I'm like, Tyler, where you get that from? And he told me. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that's hard. And then it ended up the pandemic came, and I ended up at your house like, bro, I'm trying to put some pieces together. All what right, am man. I doing? Dang, that's a throwback. We got at Marcus Harvey. Crazy shop opening. Shout out to Marcus Harvey. Shout that's the goat. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> if you know, you know, bro. But hey, if you don't, you know, you know. Marcus Harvey, the goat, nah, for real. Shout out to Tyler too, though, man, big bro. Yeah, nah, that's a crazy story. Yeah, twenty twenty. That was crazy. Pandemic. Whew. That was a crazy time in life. I was like, if you I made ain't it never. Out, you got a bag now. Let's just say that. Yeah. If, if you made it out, you got a bag now. Or something positive is happening. Everything's if you did popping. something. If you made it out of that, everything's yeah. popping. Now it's been up. Ever since It's so. been up So the first thing I ask everybody on this show Is since it's called No Draws When is the best time To wear No Draws Who <laughs> I say 3 3 a.m. Right after the club 3 Right after the club Right Come in Come on What happens after the club Yeah 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 Alright Yeah you're right <laughs> You're right After the club You're right Ain't no one got one better And that's the best time To wear No Draws That is the best time It was a dude in here The other week Was like bro. I thought that you supposed to wear no draws at the podcast. This man sitting here with jeans on and no draws, bro. I Another was like, chain. bro, what are you doing, man? You're not supposed to be He jeans. wasn't in this seat, was he? Definitely one of these seats over oh, here. Oh, man, you got me sitting on raw nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, front of them seats got raw nuts on it. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a lot of people say they had no draws on. It was a girl here that said... She had her pad on that one day. I was like, bro, this wait, wait, is a wait, lot. Wait, 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 wait. Run that back, run that back. You she just had, fuck, her, you just she had her pad on. Up. She was turning water to wine. She was no having pad, a... No pad, no draws. She had, she had to have draws on. She was a bled through okay, them seats. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, no, okay, no, she had the pad on. Okay, about to say. Oh, can't, man, if she did that, we'd have had to stop everything. Like, come on, you man. Can't, you can't go come pad, on, man. no draws. That's just disgusting. Yeah, you're going to end up ruining seats and your clothes and whatever you sit on that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, That's okay. That's crazy. Ugh. I've had a couple, I know a couple women that have, have like, I've been out in the streets and I've seen it happen and they looked at it and I saw them. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't going to tell nobody, but you need to go to the bathroom. Moment, and it was like, what's that? Oh, bro. Oh, it's blood. It happened to me at a party <laughs> one time. Super bad, for real. Oh, man, the girl dancing on me. Super bad. Tell, tell me Super bad wasn't about you without telling me. It was not. It was not nowhere near none, 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 none of that. I would never get my my friends would not get beat up in the hey, middle of a make love in. That so that movie's so funny, bro. That and uh, Napoleon Dynamite, bro. It's yes, the weirdest. Yes. Vote for Pedro. Don't forget. Yeah, elections coming up. <laughs> the dance moves had me dying, but yeah, bro. I had a chick. Dancing on me, I was like sixteen. Yeah. We having a good, we in the basement having a great oh, this time. This teen party. This is all uh, this retro. This uh late two thousands, early late, teens. This is man, bro. What? <laughs> Turn the lights on. I got on jeans. Five hundred one. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I look down. Yeah. All of this red. I'm like. Oh, oh, it started to stink too because we was hot and rubbing together. Yeah, it's a it, function. Uh, yeah, and it was smelling like it was mud. Oh God, I don't even want to think about it no more. Nah, it was. It's one of the ones was like we don't know what girl did it, but boy, when we hey. find out, hey. we finna roast you. Hey, that we never found out. The but, team parties used to be different. You'll start learning something about the baddest shorties at your school at the team parties. Oh, absolutely. Who, be, could who, who could dance? Who couldn't? 
who was really going, who had funk, who, <laughs> who had funk. <laughs> oh and boy, funk. woo! <laughs> Not that funk, funk. Oh boy, that's the worst. <laughs> woo! Oh, and that, like you said that. The bodies get to moving. Ain't no AC at the team party. <laughs> Ain't no AC. Ain't no AC at the Ooh. team party. Hey, that. Ooh. You get to the right girl. You done built the momentum to go oh. up to her, the courage to go talk to her, and you get. You get hit with the Woo. fish platter. You be like, yo. She got that fish fillet. I'm good. You see why them body dancing with her. I'm good. I believe you by yourself. Boy, that's the it. worst, man. That happened to this chick in church one time, bro. Yeah. We having Bible study, and everybody kept smelling fish. I got an ignorant cousin. He like, hey, smell like fish in here. I'm like, Long John yo. Silvers. Yo. <laughs> like, yo, we in church, man. You don't need to be screaming that. Yeah. That girl was so, everybody knew who the girl was. They started slowly moving away. Oh. Then if you sitting there by yourself, you know who it is. Your stink ass. Hey. <sighs> Go to the bathroom Just tie yourself up Ladies, Yeah man It's not that hard I know you smell it If we smell it Boy You the first person To smell it Right Cause you know When you get musty A little bit Come on man You feel it Before you smell it You be like Nah I need to get my life right It's coming Bathroom break Yeah Come on <laughs> I'm glad I don't Got a vagina bro I'm so glad Yeah Life is better With the uh, with the third leg yeah, it, Oh absolutely Way better I was like I wouldn't trade it For the world man I'd be like so- Ooh, you got to lay in the bed all day? I be having stuff to do. I'm yeah, straight. Yeah, it mess up the money, man. It I, definitely do. Speak, I couldn't imagine cramping for speak, a week. A whole week. Sometimes you know two weeks. the check going to be? Oh, for a week? You down? You know how much stuff you done put on the back burner because hey, of that week? Nah, man. Oof, oof. Nah. Two, even a day of being out of commission, you be like, oh, bro, I'm behind. Like a mug. Don't let your car go down or you got to go do something with your kids real quick that you wasn't expecting. Man. The whole day is off. Shout out to all the women that, that be championing through the through the cramps. Yeah, y'all be using CBD ointments and drinking tea. Not CBD ointment. Yeah, they be doing that. It be uh, raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> <laughs> my mama be telling me, but I gotta drink my tea so my cramps don't flare up. I must be dealing with the hood shorties. Then they just get a pillow and just. Ugh. Oh yeah, and the. Uh, <laughs> heating pad. Uh, yeah, the heating pad. pad. Wrap that bitch up yep. like a damn waist trainer. <laughs> the pillow. Yeah. Uh. He got a waist hey, trainer. Hey, what reset? They be in him mm, all week. All mm. week, man. <laughs> and they just, just like, just give them all the snacks they need and sit it around them like a nest and they good to go. Hey, be on Uber Eats ordering all the chocolate out man. of three. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> movie, they don't watch 18 movies that week. Binge oh. watching. Uh, Everything. Harlem. <laughs> Power, all of that, whatever they be watching. What's the one that just finished? Snowfall. Yeah, Snowfall. I haven't watched it. I heard it was Blind good. Blind spotting. They, they on all that. Yo, know, they be know about. Like, you need to watch it. Like, nah. Then you sitting there watching this, invested, and I don't even want to watch this. Some they of them do. shows be decent though. It do. Some it of them do. be decent. I think I put them to a few good what, lifetimes. What's good? What, you said lifetimes. Few, few what? Good little lifetimes. <laughs> when is it a lifetime that that's good? I don't know the name, but they just be good. Okay. Next yeah. time you got a shorty that's in a, a mood and she put on Lifetime, sit down and watch it with her. You okay. Like, hold on. This, this bit all right. <laughs> <laughs> you and there, y'all in there together. Hey, this bit all right. Now, hold on. You be in that bit with her. Run. You more invested in her. Run. Like, you see this stupid girl. Come on, man. You knew he was doing that. You knew it. You had to know. Man, come on. That's yeah. funny, so bro. So you be more invested in them. Hey, shouts out to the dudes that really be in the house with a girl. <laughs> For real, because you find out a whole bunch of stuff. Well, you be locked in. Man. You find out a lot. You be so like, much up. stuff. You be like, man, I'm behind, man. I be finding out about wigs and how much they I cost. I did not know you were like this. Man. <laughs> Especially when you see the panties and a little little bit of crust in it. You be like, oh. Ooh, not crust. Not, not panty crust. A little, bit, crust. A little <laughs> bit of crust. A little discharge. You still smell it? No. I, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, man, nah, she healthy. That just, she just was having a day at the gym or something. Hey, it's just one of those days. Oh, yeah, you know, one of the days she got moist today. A little too many extra squats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, first of all, I want to ask you this question. How? When did you start like getting into fashion? Because I don't know if y'all know this man can sew. He a real ass. Is it a seamstress? Is that how you call? It? Is that for women? I don't know. I wouldn't even say that. I just... I say designer. That shit is all under that. Because you got to do measuring. You be having protractors and rules. Yeah. And I'm a fashion artist, man, at the end of the day. Boom. Like, yeah, we just call it that. I'm just a fashion artist. I'll take some, chop it up, bust it down. That's Make it crazy. some desirable that you want to buy. How, <laughs> how, like, how did you start doing that, though? 
Man, it's crazy, for real. Uh, I got into it, what, 2016? Yeah. Okay. 2016, just off the whim. Like, it was a vision came to me. I said, God God came and spoke to me, told me this is what I need to be doing, so. In the middle of sleep, or just you just Nah, chilling? so, I was, I was actually drunk on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Them when the best stuff happened, when yeah. you're doing the worst shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was drunk yeah. on the plane between layovers. Vision came to me at this time. I had a Definitely. corporate job with one of the cell phone people. No wow. free promo, so we won't say their name. Facts. But I was with them, and then ended up going with this, and it just it's been jugging ever since. So like the the motion how I got started though, I came with a hood approach. I was selling like graphic tees out my trunk. Think I'm finna be rich in a week? <laughs> <laughs> no sir. I'm thinking I'm gonna be rich in a week. I had got two out. I got two shirts made, selling them out the back of my Maxima at the time. With my homeboy, and my uh, with my homie uh, down in Florida, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm finna hit." Mm-hmm. I ain't hit, but I hit some <laughs> momentum for sure. Like I was like, "Oh yeah, I ain't hit though." Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, we we got some. We got we got some. We can work with. Start refining things." A couple years later, the wolf came into the picture, and mm-hmm. then from there, like, "Yeah, shit been crazy since the wolf man." Oh man, been, been around. That's crazy. So how did you know when it, when when you got that first big order that went crazy? When did like how was that? Because I know it's always an order. You be like, "This can't be real. This can't. This ain't a real number." Man. I had a few of those. I, they all kind of came at the same pandemic, actually. Damn, that's I ain't crazy. Getting, I ain't gonna lie. Like from sixteen to twenty, like I was getting like, I ain't gonna lie. I was getting big orders. I was getting consistent flow. Mm-hmm. But when them celebrities was home and they had shit to spend their money on, oh, they was up and through there. Man, I was in everybody got that deal. <laughs> hey, fuck with me. <laughs> I'm having motion. <laughs> Fuck with me. To oh, everybody. This shit was working though. Like the, it, shit. I don't know even. I don't even know how I saw. I ended up seeing you with Tyler shit, and it was during the pandemic. So you right? Yeah, that shit was working. So it was just like everybody home. They ain't got shit to do. with People who was in the industry like us, like life still going on. We just can't technically go outside. So we yeah. try to find private shit to sneak outside. Like definitely was sneaking outside. Like we on punishment or some <laughs> shit. Like, Bro, I was at so many <laughs> curfew, parties and curfew stuff. At ten. I'm still out at one. It's cool. Oh, absolutely. Was out <laughs> at people's house, but. Yeah, during the pandemic, I started hitting up people. So you know, uh, uh, you know, that's when the rappers and stuff started really getting into it. Like a lot of your local Atlanta rappers' favorite influences, things like that. That I was maybe missing out on early on, just because that's I crazy, really didn't bro. have the foundation set up to provide shit to nobody. In the early, you do got to yeah, yeah. That foundation be real. Yeah, them foundation so, years. You know, came back around. The pandemic was the best thing for me. And then, mm-hmm. of course, uh, I think the most viral thing that came out of that was when Soldier Boy did his thing. Oh, see, yeah. I ain't know none of that. Yeah, Soldier Boy had got him a pack and just went crazy on the internet with it. You know, doing his uh. I'm the first this and that. Wait, and that. so he had on your outfit with that on? Yeah, he had got oh, a trunk. Crazy. So he had got a trunk, and it had maybe ten pieces in it. The trunk played his song. Uh, damn, what song? Wait, uh, so the, he opened it up my and, swag it, on. and it played the yeah, song. Turn my swag on came on. That's he, crazy. Man, I, don't know, I might have it on my phone. That, send that. We gonna put that in the, in the video. That's Let's crazy. See. I might have. I might have. The it. fact that the trunk opened up and played "Turn My Swag On." I didn't even think about even you even like the amount uh, of care and effort you put into that, bro. You think Instagram still kept the messages in? No, you know Instagram be, be hating. It sometimes. depends. It depends. It should as long Let's as they ain't on vanish mode. Nah, nah, nah. We wasn't in that. Vanish mode wasn't even a thing till about a couple months ago, maybe a year. Oh yeah, we good. It's right here. That's crazy. Yeah. Draco, nigga. What's up? Yo. <laughs> If y'all can't see it, I'm opening the box. We'll play it for you. <laughs> and it's playing the box. The new, the you made the box, bro. Yeah. Yo, that's hard, bro. Yo, that's ingenuity <laughs> right there, bro. Oh. I'm the first rapper. Would you open up the case and then play your song? And that's funny. I'm the first rapper had that. That's funny, bro. That's the first rapper. Yo. Boy, y'all don't got that. Y'all do not got that. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> He's screaming. This is genuine too. Like, I did not oh. know this was happening. Yo. Yeah, it just hit me afterwards and it was like, yo, let me show you some love and what what I need to tag. That's like, hard, bro. Was like, I just posted some videos opening the pack. So 
Yeah. Shouts out to Big Draco for being real, bro. Yeah, nah, he a real one. Shout out to Draco, that, that's man. That's dope, man. But yeah, I'll say that probably one of the most viral things that came out of the pandemic. And then that's from there, that kind of... Put a lot of other things in motion Went for to them. the moon Now everybody asking like What's that you got Who this And they yeah, start hitting this, you what's up What's that Let me get Yo I'm trying to get in It's like man Nah we still moving members only <laughs> that, Bro how, how did you decipher Going through that Cause I know this is a flood Of people hitting you up So you just was like Nah you gotta sign up for this man, You just gotta be disciplined For real like I'm trying to do something different Like A lot of clothing companies To me go for Just making a bag And not building a brand yeah, I, I want to build a brand, you know, Same. and I think one of the things that make you a brand is having something of what it's, what does it stand for. So mm-hmm. for me, my whole thing I wanted my brand to be about was one, I hated walking out pre me having a brand and seeing someone in something I just bought. You know the feeling of going somewhere thinking yeah. fresh and you see, oh damn, he got the same shoes on. Okay, that's understandable. Damn, he got the same jeans on. Mm, okay. Damn, he got the same shirt and jacket as me. Everything. Fuck, he got the hat. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. <laughs> like, I'm ready to go home. Night over. Like, <laughs> it's over with. Yeah, so with yeah. my brand, everything's That's all at right. the moment now are all one offs. I just make one of ones. I got mm-hmm. so many ideas. I'm too creative. I got hard drives, like a rapper or something, full of just designs. Like, Oh, man. So your mind that, work how my mind work with, yeah. like, okay. So okay. It's like, I ain't never putting out the same thing. So gotcha. it's just like, all right. We got a hella one on one. So it's like if you really want to be a member and you have like a one on one or something, it's a it's a private collection. It says mm-hmm. on Instagram not a private collection, a one on one street street art. Like that's what I consider it's wearable street art. It is, man. Cause I, the pieces I be seeing out, bro, this shit. Wait, wait till I have whenever I have my first whatever I get. We live. Oh, actually, yeah, you did give me. I think yeah. I ended up having you. I sent you to shit to sign it. So, yeah. yeah, so we got some pieces on the way. I can't really talk about it, but yeah. for those who yeah. know and was part of it, if you was part of it, you part of it, you part of it, bro. Yeah, That's for it. Real, I forgot so. that all that happened last year. I was Damn, like, bro, you yeah. got to sign that paperwork real quick. Yeah, for sure. So it's just like, man, That's crazy. it's just be going crazy. And then because I only do one-on-one, I still want to be able to have my wolf scene so it's like mm-hmm. remember I was telling him I came up with the the giveaway gear and that's just logo based colorful pieces shirts hats socks everything hoodies man whatever with the logo on it give it to the community man whoever man your grandma your auntie your, <laughs> your local dope boy <laughs> they, gonna watch, they, they gonna wear it anybody bro. man put it on they's gonna wear it like, man, that's another way you can just support this, but the the the, the actual, you know, super gassed up pieces, like yeah, the mm-hmm. one offs, they they certify it comes certificates, everything. So that's some it's high end shit right there. All experience, yeah. When I saw that box over there, like you made the box and you put it in packages and the tags is personal. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, some yeah. other stuff right yeah, here. It's an experience for sure. Like it, it's really an experience. So I'm just trying to come with a different flavor, different approach of how we can do this this game we call fashion. Outside of what other people are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like everybody being wearing, at a certain point, like, oh, yeah, I just copy each other. A lot of people copy each it's, other. It, I, I feel like the marketplace today lacks creativity, for sure. Like, it's just in like, the sense of, it's copy and paste. People doing the same things that next person and mm-hmm. just saying I'm doing it my way. But the aesthetic, I don't think people understand the aesthetic it, looks the same. the same, so, bro. It's hard to charge $200, $100, 50, even $50, $20 for some. And your big market chains got the same aesthetic in it for five dollars, ten dollars. You and can't. H&M and, and yeah. Zara and shit. It's like definitely. I mean, I get what you're saying. Hey, that's what you value it as, but the market ain't valuing it that. With mine, it's like the aesthetics is they that's really facts. original. Because honestly, be 100 with you, I'm not a fashion junkie for real. It's a weird place where I've been looking online. Like, is yeah. this what? How, what exactly is fashion? I just yeah. feel like dress as weird as you can and then walk around the runway. Yeah, feel, yeah, dress as weird as you can and have confidence behind what you got on. And then yeah, hit that. If we had enough space, hit that walk. <laughs> hit that walk with <laughs> the goddamn hit, diaper hit, on. Hit that walk. And it's like I used to sit back and watch fashion shows. I guess of your upscale fashion shows, and I always would watch them and just be like. I would never wear none of that shit. None of it. I ain't wearing none of that I outside. Never. Like, I ain't wearing that nowhere. Like, no, I'll be looking at, like, how is this a fashion? Like, where are people wearing me? this at? The Met Gala? That's yeah. the only place you can wear any of that. Yeah, like, yeah, if you ain't going to a rich nigga prom, like, you can't wear that. <laughs> rich nigga prom. <laughs> That's what that is. That's that the is. rich nigga's prom. So it's like, you can't wear that. So I'm like, nah, I want my stuff to be 
wearable but still dope and still mm-hmm. pres- express you. So it's like all my pieces are different. If you go to the gram and, I, and you get in, of course, because it's private, you got to get let in now. But mm-hmm. if you go to the gram and, you know, you, you able to get access to it, hey, every piece got its own vibe. If it's mm-hmm. all types of walks of life. So it's like you can support this and support who you are for real. Like my brand represents be yourself. Like be like no other. Like You that's should. The, yeah, that's on the back of my chain right here. Like no other. Like... That's hey, live, you gotta live your brand. I think yeah. that's what a lot of people lack. They just be saying like, "Oh, I like this. I'm gonna do it." Like, now, nah, what do you do that you say to yourself every day, yeah. or you and your homeboy say, or your family do, and and that's it. That's your mantra. Nah, for real. Nah, that, that's facts. Like, I feel like a lot of people, like I said, it's just out here right now. We live in a culture where it's just like, get it fast, give me the gratification fast. It don't work like that. Nah, it don't. It, it, it don't. Like, not longevity. It's not like at you all. keep bouncing from thing to thing, but if you're really trying to build something of substance, mm-hmm. something that's going to last the test of time, something that's going to be recognizable, yep. that once you did the hard work on that brand, you can literally do whatever you want with that. Like, think of Apple. Apple started yeah. off with a box-ass computer and now make phones and headphones and got streaming apps and all types of Everything. stuff. Everything. Anything I would put that half bitten eating apple on that people gonna go get it now. They can and come out with a the, shoe yeah. with that shit on there. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna I want them apple kick eye kicks. I want what? those. They they come out with cancer, but I'm trying to get that apple cancer. Yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I want that I see. <laughs> I get I see, bro. I get yeah. the pack put right on me. That's just good branding, though. Yeah, you feel me? That your, is true. Your branding becomes great once people recognize the brand without the logo even there. Just off of the aesthetics alone, off of mm. a, a pattern, or off of just color waves. Like they can that just tell, true. like that's that. I know that's that. Like off white. I know that's that. Why? Because of the pattern, the aesthetics that came yeah. with it, the I tagging get... that came with. It. I know that's off white without even seeing the logo. That's 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 un- that is really smart, yeah, man. Branding is where it's at, so it take longer to build a brand, but it, it the the real wealth that people want come from owning brands. Like, yeah, the that's people, all it is. Wealthy people own brands. You know, that's mm-hmm. one of their biggest assets. Brands, brands are powerful. Brands like, and businesses, kind of like yeah. they the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Like product and shit, cash flow. Like absolutely, but, if your money ain't moving in and going out at this rapid rate, yeah, exactly. You're doing so, it wrong. That's always when I talk to people that want to start a clothing company or get into anything. I always ask like, what's your goal for? Is it just to make money fast? Hey, this is how you probably want to do it. You know, get a graphic designer, get them to make you a couple trendy shirts. Go literally walk and holler at every streetwear boutique, show them your pieces. Say, hey, rock with me. Uh, turn around. Get them in the store, sell them, get, you know, direct that traffic back to your e commerce site. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get, Do it again. You get a check, run a couple ads, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, you know, billboards if you got if you got the right budget, run some digital billboards. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, you in Is that the one when they be on the bike on them, on them cars when you be driving by or the ones? Yeah, you can buy, you can give it the right ad company. They'll put your shit wherever you want. Like they'll put it on trash cans, buses, digital billboards. <laughs> trash cans. Uh, yeah, walk downtown. You probably don't even pay attention. Walk downtown. Next time you're walking downtown. Okay. You'll look at the trash can. You'll see ads on there. Like that's why a little five points in East Atlanta look like that. All them stickers and shit everywhere. Nah, that's gorilla marketing. That deer. Oh, that deer. Okay, yeah. that's what I said. Why it look like that? I was like, yeah. is that what they doing? That's a nigga with no money going down there, getting it out the mud and like sticker, sticker, sticker. Boy, there's a lot of people oh, doing I was, that. Yo, I, got, I got some on little five. It, yo, it's some people I'm like, damn, this shit been here for a minute And I know this dirt person yeah. uh, Freako like that I don't yeah. know, Freako, I see his shit everywhere Squad next door, talking about that Nah, Freako, you, when you see it yeah. You will not not remember it <laughs> It's like one of them things It's kind of like yeah. how you say Apple is If you ever seen Freako, met him and see how his shit look yeah. You'd be like, oh, that Freako Yeah, yeah, yeah Like right. it's a, a specific style Yeah, man, so it's a, it's a lot of ways to do it, but like I said, the end goal is always going to be just brand. That's that's my end goal. I'm building a brand. Like, yeah, I want man. that wolf to be a, a global household name and for it to sit in the same light in the same room with like your big boys, like your Nikes and your yeah. Apples. And the it should be. Yeah, it looked, sure. man, I ain't going to lie. When I saw what you was doing, I'm like, oh, this this nigga know what the hell is going on, bro. Because I had no clues. I had, I had just put a baby toe in, and I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. I don't need, I'm going to be in here just for shirts, but when I come back, we can, we can do some other stuff, bro. It's cool. <laughs> I, I'm not ready for whatever you're doing. Hey, no, I appreciate that. I ain't going to lie, man. I really just be, what Nike's motto is, just do it. Well, that's I, all you want to. is just do shit till something happens. Oh, absolutely. That's, my, <laughs> I, that's, that's how this happened. That's why I live by. Just do shit till something happens, like. 
yo, you feel scared about doing it, guess what? You're in the same situation by being stuck in your fear than if mm-hmm. you did it and fail. So just do shit until something happens. If you just keep doing enough shit, mm-hmm. something going to happen. Somebody right? going to call you. Somebody going to be inquire, inquire about what you got going That's on. That's it. And it's about what your goals are. Like, set up what success means for you. Like, other mm-hmm. people, success is, hey, I want to get enough attention to where I can sell this shit to somebody. Yeah. Somebody else's might be, hey, I want to stay independent home ownership by mind bringing in partners who can help elevate the idea and elevate the brands. Yeah. You feel me? So it's just about what you what you want to accomplish. That's how I, that's how I feel. I feel like people want it too fast. Uh, not even too fast, but people just like, I want, like, why if they ain't give me this right now? I'm like, bro, are you even worth Think about what you're doing. They microwave kids today. Yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. I be sitting there like, <laughs> damn, y'all really like, be wanting stuff right that now. That shit don't cook in 30 seconds. They catching a the tantrum. Oh, everybody finna have cancer yeah. immediately. I ain't gonna Social media got kids fucked up. Oh, absolutely, bro. Think about it. <clears throat> absolutely. All day, every day, I'm sitting here looking at other 16, 17, 18, 21-year-olds who appear to have millions or, you know, have They're a whole bunch of money shoes. doing this and stuff. But it's like, yo, if you was really on the other side, you would see how much cap is really on Oh, that. it's so much cap. Man, they be paying they, off shoes, paying off shoes, everything. They be 12 of their asses staying in a penthouse in Atlantic Station. <laughs> <laughs> All individually taking pics of the I views. swear to God, that they is be, so true. <laughs> it should be crazy, dog. They be taking, I literally done multiple times be walking around Buckhead or something and I'll see like random kids in Atlantic parking lot like taking pics in front of the niggas who really got it cause like that should be scary to see no they finna post and be like yeah have emotion bro that's not even your you Bentley not even, you doing this on the sneak See, tip you feel me <laughs> you don't even know who got the Bentley they could pull up on you now it's a problem yeah so it's like they really understood that understood man the game didn't change man the internet just makes it easier to network yeah, that's all but it is the, the time it take to really build some of substance and get the it take about like four or five years yeah, it's still, to yeah, start it's still hitting gotta, yeah to start getting some real momentum mm-hmm. time, having real conversations and Facts. for people to even take you serious and be like oh you really do this yeah he been consistent for five six years yeah oh now people want to start looking at you. Man, that that be the worst. Not even the worst, but like I'm yeah. almost hitting that point where like people see what what's going on. They be like, man, I remember he's like, bro, but you ain't, but you don't even come to a show. You don't even goddamn buy buy some socks. We don't like the supporters that support when it's cool to support. Oh, that's exactly it. You feel me? You got to get hot first. Not everybody on your yeah, meet. Yeah, like. Come on, you like, where, where you was at when I was out the trunk? Facts. Where you was at when I was putting stickers on stop signs and putting putting flyers up on the, on bowls and stuff? Like, where you was at, like, when I was going through the grinding moments? When like, you were looking at your bank account, like, yeah, boy, I can't, I can't buy a fucking four for four. You, <laughs> that, that gas station hot dog look real you, good. You feel me? So it's like, where were you at then, then, them times? And it's like, oh, now... Nah, now when they see you pop out, oh you you having you having some motion or you you having this look or that look, you in magazines or whatever the whatever it is mm-hmm. for them to declare you have emotion, they see it now. Now they wanna be like, Oh yeah, I've been there since the jump. Yeah, yeah like, okay, bro. Nah, you you might have known about it man. from you knew about it from the jump, but you wasn't supporting though. They don't support till you get hot, and then at that point, I, I just remove my feelings from it. I'm like, I oh, understand. Yeah, I don't think they understand. Like, I understand where you're at. Once I done hit about year six or seven, and the support wasn't there, I, it's like, eh, you feel me? <laughs> what is like, eh, yeah. yeah. okay. <laughs> you feel me? Like, okay. Oh, now you support it? Yeah. Okay. That'd be the worst, man. Yeah. Now you want to give your connections? Nah. I got a homeboy who do this. Like, bro, uh-huh. I was asking you like four years ago. I was at, yeah, you feel me? I was asking you four years ago who screen print. Oh, I got a guy now. Man, nah, <laughs> and that's what's crazy about this whole, like, building a brand yeah. is uh, you got to keep the people that was with you before, that didn't even, that just genuinely was with you yeah. just off of the, oh, I think this dope. Them the people you keep around. Man, you got to because... They the ones who saw the vision with you at the same time, essentially. It's like, yo, you ain't charged me nothing for this or this. You just did this off of strength. Off if you the believe love. in what I got going on, like, you know, and that's why I got to shout out Tyler again, man. Shout out my man Tyler Crowley. Yeah, shout out to like, that. Psh, bro, he that, one of the ones. He one of them real ones, dog. Man, he done plugged me in with a few few popping major comedians and stuff in his world <laughs> off of just the love or that he want to see me win. So it's just like man. my payback to him is just... Get there. <laughs> get, there. get there. You, we yeah. out here with you. We with you. Yeah, it's like just get there. And I, it's a lot of others like that that just want to really see me win, and uh, that be that. That's nice to have a couple of those in your corner that 
don't want nothing in return, no no hidden agenda, just genuinely real. And yeah. it's hard to come by that and just this lifestyle entertainment industry Man, itself. Man, it's talk about it's always, it, bro. So we're going to try to be your friend just to get something off you or Shh, bro. got a, a, a hidden agenda or why they rocking with you or, and stuff like that. It don't be have making. a couple of real ones around. It don't be making no sense because, yeah. like, being in entertainment, everybody think that shit cool till you got to do it. And then yeah, it's now, really now it's it's, a, really, it's 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 a burden to you, or you now nah, niggas not. Uh, oh, you don't be messing. No, I gotta go get this money. I work for myself. What you think? Hello, <laughs> you feel me? I don't. I'm not clocking into nobody's job. Man. Yeah, I'm the job, nigga. Yeah, it's like, hey man, we got. I ain't got time for that. Like, we trying to get to this money. We trying to. We trying to get to these goals. We trying to get to this. You know, building the the, the levels of the foundation. And we ain't got time for the the other little. Hey, let's just hang out around and look like, at Instagram. Whoa. I'm going to look at everybody else's life. I'm trying to build a life. Like, <laughs> I ain't trying to look at nobody else's yeah, life. I'm trying to build a life. Like, I ain't trying to look at nobody else's Man, life. So. I be telling people that. They be like, you don't watch so-and-so? I don't even watch TV, bro. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I just, whatever I like listening to, I'm going to play this music, I'm going to watch it, and then that's, that's it. it, and then get my work done. That's it, man. I listen to good music and good books. That's it. That's all you got to, because at a certain point, you just start looking at people like, you don't watch so-and-so? Like, how you going to make TV and don't watch it? It's like, easy. Yeah. I got to make it. I can't be watching yeah, it and making it at the same time. It's simple as that. Like, can't be. You can't be locked in knowing what's going on, the latest chronicles of Blueface and Krishan. And, Man, that shit crazy and, to and, see. And then think that, like, It's oh, so crazy, bro. My goals, I'm not hitting my goals, though. But, but you know everything about their love life. Yeah, like, shit, you done clocked 50 hours on Blueface this week. <laughs> like Off one app. Like, yeah, what the hell you did for yourself this week? <laughs> nothing. They don't be doing nothing but eating Cheetos and Takis and drinking juice and going and putting last Lashes on. Oh. They be putting lashes on. The bad eyes. Oh, man. They be having, bro. It's, it's brunch, man. I be doing hey, so many brunch plug shows. Real quick. Hey, yo, if you ever need some fire ass lashes, you know, the, the exclusive, the good, the good ones. The minks? Know. Yeah, the, that's what they, the minks. You the know, soft if you ever ones. need the minks, yo, get at, get at my cuz, man, Chastity, dog. I don't know her. I asked her Instagram. I'll find Shouts it. Out to Let Chastity. me look it up right now. Yeah, man. do Shouts that right now. Chastity, so we can go in here and plug it in. Man. I do, like, I like the ones that, like, I don't know what they be putting them in individually. Whenever they gotta install lashes, yeah. that'd be better than I'd be saying like you got a whole. Yeah, it's Mink Dolls Co. Mink Dolls Co. Spell that for people. Yeah, M I N K. So you know they the good lashes. Yep, they definitely. D O L L S C O. Yeah, go holler at my cousin yep. on Instagram. She 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 hundred percent legit with it. She got best lashes in the A for sure. I stand behind that. Hell yeah, they are not gonna fall in your juicy crab. Nah, you ain't gotta worry about that. that, man. You know what I'm saying? You can get rocked the hard way, and they gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yo, it, it, it's so fun. What's the what's the person that like you gave them some sort of uh, some of your clothing, and you be like. They freaked out, or they just was like, "You wasn't expecting," or somebody that called you was like, "I, w- I didn't even know you was on. You was I was on your radar." Man, um, talking about just on like a celeb too. Anything, anybody. Sway, Sway Lee. Yeah, oh, Sherman. from Sheree Sherman? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see. He looked like he, yeah. yeah he, <laughs> he looked just he like rocks. he were all of that. Yeah, he rocks with the brand. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he rocks with the brand. So, you know, like, they wouldn't have thought that, you know, I was on his radar. That he, he He's a fashion nigga for real. So, he he dressed like him, one. Yeah, for him to think my shit dope. Like, that's honor. Like, when I come across certain people, influencers, celebs, and they, I know they fashion people, mm. and they be like, yo, shit dope. I'd be like, damn, I'm like, okay. Like, I, I didn't know I was doing it like that. Yeah, I didn't know I was, I didn't think I was in that that lane yet. But That's I'm in crazy. Yeah. Shouts out to them. I, I fought with Origami off the new album, too. That's one of my favorite songs I'll be, I be riding th- Flush, through the streets. Royal Flush is mine. For the new one? Yeah. Okay, I got, yeah. now I got, how'd that one go? It's that thug on it. <laughs> okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I was like, I know exactly, I don't know how it go, but yeah, it go yeah, when yeah, you put it in. Yeah, on. you got thug okay, on yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was a fan of them before. Like when they start, I was like, "Yo, they be making good ass music." Yeah, they be making good ass music, bro. So yeah. you got Sway. Did you have uh, who? You have you had some like regular people, like a, a politician or something, hit you up? Cause I know they be looking, cause they be nah, in some crazy places. Maybe not a politician. Regular people, but not like no politician or nothing like that. 
right there. Like, okay. The mayor of Atlanta, come get at me. I'll get you fresh for the campaign. You know? Hey, hell, I, ooh. I, we could do red and blue hats, you know, whichever route y'all want to go. I'm talking to anybody in general that running a campaign. We, right. we can get you some, some fly merch that will attract the eyes of Atlanta. No. <laughs> Facts. That's crazy. The way Atlanta set up, you probably right around the corner from them. That's what I'm saying. The right? way, like, because hey. you never know who knows somebody. Like, oh, you know them? Oh, you know them. I got a thing now that I, I truly believe you are one person away from the person you're trying to get to. Oh, at, oh, bro. It's it, hands down. Especially if yeah. you really do what you do. Yeah, if you really into what you do, you one person away from whoever you're bro. trying to get to. So it's just... Connecting the dot, bro. Let's see it, figuring it out, and then having some real ones to be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make that connection for mm-hmm. you. I think you're ready for it. You like, get that call, they know you're serious, and yo. you be like, you need to do X, Y, Z. I can't even tell you how many times. I didn't know Marcus was that big till like, I was like, wait, you bought a gallery, man? Oh, yeah, Harvey. Yeah. And I was sitting there like, yo, what the hell, what... What do, what do you do for a living? And I just was like, oh, you do everything. Got yeah, it. I was he like, everything. I ain't gonna lie. I want to I want to give him a piece so he can hang in there some art. So actually, I'm gonna get at you, bro. Like so, I can give you. I give you one of the pieces I done did a shooting or some couple of them because some of them I won't wear again and I'll frame them. Yep. Be him, him, him your size, Marcus. We want to see the piece he gonna put, give yeah. on out to you. That yeah. shit gonna be hard, I already know, because he gonna wear it everywhere. It's gonna be on, uh, you gonna end up with the outfit <laughs> at a Nas concert, bro. Courtside the NBA game. Facts. So him. Facts. <laughs> you like this? He's in Switzerland with uh, Wu Tang. Yeah, he rocking it. So, yeah, no, I, I do wanna give him some pieces just to hang up in the gallery and stuff like that, because like I said, to my eyes, it's still art. Like, it's just wearable art. Like, you could put it on, you could dress it up however you want. I think my, my shit is uh, universal. Like, you can yeah. wear it to a business meeting, you can. You can wear it every freaky how you want. Shorts, jeans, slats, shoes, also, dress shoes. For those uh, like and subscribe, cause y'all don't be clicking buttons. Y'all be watching this too. And don't be don't hit me in the comments yeah. and you ain't hit the like button because it's, it's right stupid. There. Well, it's it's right there. Somewhere. It's, it's right there. One of them spots. And also Marcus, as we talk, if y'all don't know who Marcus Harvey is, if y'all look at the rapper Nas and his haircut. That's him. That's him. The dude who do the the yeah. that's him. Mr. Bell. Yeah. <laughs> so him, Grant, all the TNT haircuts that yeah. you see on the NBA, Grand all Hill, Grant slapping. Hills, yeah. Sharp. Chris Webber. Uh, he got cut clay. Yeah, clay. T- yeah, he do. He get yeah, clay. He get clay right. That's crazy. And he, he the goat. Who, who somebody? He one of the goats. He he, one of the goats oh, Barbara. definitely. Definitely one yeah. of the goats. Like, you be looking at him, because he, he'll call me up randomly. he be like, Fur, you jeans. I'm like, wait, what do you mean? Like, nigga, what's coming from you, though? I don't know how to take this. <laughs> and he'll just on. break it down, and he'll yeah. be like, okay, I get it. You see what's going on, and you understand it. Get bet. Mm-hmm. Who Who's somebody that you want to get a piece to that you be like, I want to give you the piece, or I want to work with you? ASAP Rocky. That is a hard boy. I mean, hey, say it on point. point. Hey, we're hey, going to clip it up. Hey, ASAP, hey, hey, get at your boy. Fire as fuck, dog. We going man. Me and ASAP do some crazy work together. Like <laughs> that commercial. That, that right there is someone who offers just strength. Like I just want to work with ASAP. Like, I don't even care what the under the circumstances. Yeah. It's more so me helping with ideas on something he got going on in mm-hmm. my own brain and stuff like that. But yeah, ASAP is someone that's on my list. That oh yeah, I, I want to rock with Wiz. I uh, can see that. He another one that's on my list, and then um, Tiger. That's about it. Yeah, I yeah Tiger look like I thought y'all look related a little bit. Nah, it's just a, it's just a Southern California thing. You know, that's where I'm originally from. Yeah, you feel me. So shout out to Southeast Dago. You know, what I'm saying six one nine, but I got roots down in Florida through my mama. So yeah, you definitely got to mix both on yeah, that boy. Yeah, so Southern California, both. everything. Yeah, I'm looking at like, oh yeah, I did forget you was from the West yeah, Coast. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like I got the best of both worlds growing up. You feel me? Grew that shit, that, that shit make your mind. That make you way more creative yeah, than most people up think. I in Cali and Florida at the same damn Ooh, time. Jesus Christ, you are <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah, eight fifty <laughs> Lake Jackson. You know them my roots for my mama, but. Yeah, it, it's a good mix. You know, I think it shows out in my the way I dress and my right. art and everything. Like the Florida, all the colors. Like, come on, fam, you down right now? You definitely are yeah, rattlesnake. The green and the orange. I'm fam, you down all the way. Yeah, I remember I went to. Uh, I ended up going to one of the uh, what's it called when everybody go down there? 
Homecoming. Man. First yeah. time ever going. I was like, oh, this. Homecoming. Okay, different. this is way different than yeah. what they got over there. Yeah, man, you homecoming different. Woo, you be like, yeah. this is going on all day? All day. All week. Man. Be all week. So. I was only there for a day and I was like, oh, yeah, I all need to come week. next time. That was crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Set Fridays, all that. Fam, you a vibe. Tallahassee a vibe for real. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like on some going to college, partying, meeting meeting shorties that gonna make bad decisions in the club. Always gonna make yeah. bad decisions. Shouts out to y'all. Yeah, shout out to Tallahassee for that. They gonna give t-, t nasty, tally ho, whatever you wanna call it. They gonna give them vibes for sure. <laughs> you know, I can see randomly hitting you up and be like, hey, man, I like it. T-Pain for whatever reason. Hey, I got a crazy story about this shit that you brought T-Pain up. So I actually met him when I was a jit. Damn. So like my mama was fucking with this dude at the time. What his name was? His name was uh what his rapper name was Sultan or some shit like that. Jer- his name was Jermaine. Okay. But his, his, his real name. <laughs> his name was Jermaine. Yeah, you feel me? But he had some rapper name called like Sultan, one of the rap R and B, whatever the fuck it was. This at the time T Pain had a thing called Nappy Heads. People from Tallahassee. I do what remember the group. Yeah. So he had a thing called Nappy Heads. Pain used to work for my uncle at some produce spot. Mm-hmm. So somehow he got linked with the Jermaine dude And he came to the crib one time And he brought me He came to the crib He had a nappy head poster with him Like him and the group It was like black or something Had like the You know the 2000 shit Chrome nappy head And all that shit <laughs> yeah. And he signed that motherfucker for me And I I don't know where the hell that shit at. I think I threw that bitch away. Hey man, T Pain won the ghost too, bro. Nah, Real he is, talk. He is for real. Like he he really is a goat. He to me the first one to put Tallahassee on the music sense on the map. But Tallahassee buzzing now with the music right now. I can imagine. It's a lot of homies coming up out of it. Like you got uh Fish Scale popping out. Uh you got Boston Richie right now that's doing crazy from I the south side. Lil Tyler coming out, we is having. Um I wanna say what well, I think. 500 Trigger or something like that. I don't know. I think he's from the crib or Monticello somewhere close. He got a song called Ether, Gas. I just like, started listening to Lil Tyler yesterday. Like, what? I, hey, just, I was in the shoot. The I, was like the a, shoot. I was in the shoot. I was doing the shoot. I was like, head like a temp fade. Yeah. I was listening like, yo, who is it? Like, it's Lil Tyler. I'm like, I right, bet. And Shazam it. I was like, oh, okay. Jit too hard. Jit too hard. For I real. was like, okay, Lil Tyler. Yeah, here. So it's a lot of talent coming out of Tallahassee right now, like on the music side. Like, even when it comes to everything in the industry, like they starting to figure it out. And it's so it's crazy it. to see, like, to be, because you know, everybody come up, you come through Florida too. You always hit the East Coast, uh, the Southeast, if you're doing anything yeah. entertainment wise. Yeah. And you, I feel like it's the one of the, the chilling circuit is one of the, most I love it and hate it as relationships because that's really yeah. who you find out who you are. Mm-hmm. But you build your fan base, but it just it just translate because when you leave there, you don't hit every demographic of person. Yeah, you don't hit got white, all. black, <laughs> gay, straight, Southern, wait, wait, Baptist, not, 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 not gay, straight. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever you. All of that shit is getting hit through the southeast because it's nah, so thanks. many places you could go to do stuff, and you'd be sitting there like, "Damn, I was in." Kentucky had a show yeah, And that's nah, rich white people The southeast region Is the untapped region That to me For too long Has been disrespected From Psh, Man When you think about Like you said Kentucky, Tennessee The Carolinas Georgia And then Florida Alabama Psh, Mississippi like, Mississippi Like Man People take that for granted Like People have been robbing Out this culture For a long time Man And me I, I think I see it because, like I said, I'm from Cali. And you kind of, like, see. But then going back and forth, I see the difference of, like, oh, how we vibe in Cali and then how we vibe in the South and how Florida vibe. Like, Florida is its own vibe. Yeah, nigga, them niggas different. <laughs> Florida, right? Florida I be like, bro, I don't know what y'all be doing down there. Florida is own vibe in itself, you feel yeah. me? So it's just, uh, with me, I want, I want the brand to represent that. Like, mm-hmm. think about your most popping right now. Name your most popping five streetwear brands of all times, and none of them came out of South. Damn, you're absolutely correct. Before you even name, I'm gonna tell you none of them came out. Of I South. know they're not, cause I don't know no nothing that's like damn. No Southern brand gets taken serious. You know what I'm saying? It's either New York or Cali, New bro. York or LA, and I get asked that question all the time. It's like, yo, you from Southern California? You from San Diego, LA? Right there in your backyard. Why you ain't doing this out there? You feel me? And I'm just like... Do they not get it? Or is it just... No, nah, it's not. They don't get it. I actually did go home. I ain't gonna lie. I had gave up on the South and went back home. Like, to... You said I gave up on yeah, the South? Yeah, I did. I went back home for, uh, uh, like, a year or two and was having motion out there and everything. It just didn't feel fulfilling, though, because it's just like, I, I don't want to make it to the pinnacle of my of me really breaking out and... 
Cali get to claim it. Granted, that's home. I ain't want Cali to claim it. I want okay, that makes sense. I want my southern roots to claim it. Like, yeah, I want to be able to bust out the south. Being a black on, being black, a black creative that's not weird, that's like very relatable to the streets for real. Oh, that's the best. Think about kid. it though. Most creators, so many weird they be dudes. Weird. So you be like, what so is like? This dude is your I think I'm very relatable Like an everyday person And shit Facts. Or like People can see themselves In me From an angle That they can't maybe See themselves in You know Rest in peace to Virgil Or Pharrell mm-hmm. Or to these Different fashion people That's facts Hey, And then Doing it in Atlanta <sighs> Bro Yeah that's, To me It's a harder feat But it Way harder feat But when you do it Shit, once I do that, man. Woo! It's nigga, yeah, you we, are never not gonna you never gonna you yeah, go first we, of all, you wealthy already. Yeah, we if you're already it. here in yeah. the in the trenches. Yeah, it's like we in there. So it's just like that's the goal. Like, man, let's put let's put Georgia on the map, let's put Atlanta on the map. Mm-hmm. Man. Uh you no, know, just really the whole southeast region. You know, Atlanta's the capital of the southeast region. So let's just put the southeast region on the map of like, hey, the South got something to say, like just like they said the source of war, like hey, they got something to say, like that's how I feel right now when it comes to this fashion. That's so. Like, that's hey, so much. You you are right right there. You feel me? You kind of you got the same similarities of me and comedy. You you from I'm from New York. Yeah. And I'm all my family from here in yeah. Atlanta. So I just like I understand what you said because I had to come here. Mm-hmm. I'm like nah, cause if I do it here, I'm doing it, doing it. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different to do it somewhere where it's not popping, especially when you know you got the same resources and you could do it home. Huh? I and maybe it is the easier path and yeah. choosing the harder path. It's just like it just shows better. it just shows the difference of what you cut from. Yeah, man. Cause it, it, some people be like, nah, I want the luxury. Like, man, I, like I get it, but it's gonna come. I ain't tripping. What's two? What's a year and a half of just grinding it out as opposed yeah. to the rest of your life? You good? Yeah, just grinding. Like we talking about grinding. Like, like you, you, you don't you forgetting to eat? Grind. Like you yeah. be like, did I eat today? I don't know. Like, yeah, you got you got shorty texting. Did you eat today? <laughs> like. <laughs> You bringing food Right You feel me What you bringing Yeah you, you Don't ask me that question Don't be prepared To bring no food Ladies That's <laughs> that's disrespectful To the man you texting Yeah like What you checking On my stomach for If you ain't trying to feel it Facts <laughs> If you ain't trying to feel it You know That's funny as hell man Hey for real My oh, man Little man Lay it out bro He funny man He oh, yeah, funny He vibing He vibing so what's the name? Hey, appreciate you pulling up to these comedy shows, though. Yeah, you came yeah, to the one. I you came support. to the widest comedy show ever, oh, wait, bro. Wait, wait, hey, what was crazy though? I walk in, and I'm like, what I had? On? I was fitted that day. Too. Oh, you had the fit. I had on. I think I had on. Like, and you had the, some. Gla- you had some I glasses had on, like on a, too. I had like a custom teddy jacket. You I did. did with like some glasses and frames. I had the goals in, yep. the chains, everything. I walk in, I'm like, oh shit, this white. This white, white, like, <laughs> this, like it was so white that I didn't know it was that this white. Computer paper white, <laughs> like you, eight and a half by eleven. <laughs> I was like, oh okay, Ooh. but I ain't gonna lie, it was a vibe. They was really feeding it to it, and like it goes to show. I feel like a lot of those notions we granted, we do got a lot of Karens, and I think the, the male version of a Karen is a Jeremy. So you know, we got a lot of Karens and Jeremys out there, but. uh I think a lot of it be us too. We walk in these rooms because we don't look like how everybody else look. We yeah. actually think they prejudging or they think, man, them people was fucking with me. Having a ball. I'm telling you, man, they it's was so fucking crazy. With me. Like they yo, they was fucking with me, dog. Me and Shorty, they was fucking with us, dog. Like they was really like, hey, in our face talking, getting numbers, like, let's Bro. link up. What do you do? Oh my god, like, oh, I like your teeth. Like, you know, they be trying <laughs> yeah. to say little shit to break the ice. Yeah, they do you, all the time. Yeah, yeah, I like your teeth. Yeah. I've never seen real goals before. Oh my god, are those permanent? <laughs> You'd be like, no, Trisha, it's Pop not. Them out, they might freak out. And be like, what the fuck? He just ripped his teeth out. Ah. Yo, that was the night that white lady had her boots on. She's like seventy, and she put her she put a pussy in the air. I remember yeah. that night. Yo, no, the highlight that night was the guy. Uh, that got booed uh, From New York Yeah Oh bro I forgot he got booed It was not fucking with him <laughs> yeah. And he they, we, he got defensive When he realized They wasn't fucking with him He was like I'm from New York I was like, As soon as he started his set I was like This ain't gonna be good at all bro Don't that start your set shit. in south And then the girl Who did the leg And the pussy She came after him I think she was trying To get the crowd back <laughs> 
Cause that crowd was dead. Yo, we was in the back like, boy, this nigga is dying on stage. Woo. He cut that. He said, you know what? I'm dying. Can't do it. Yeah. I was like, he didn't even get a real boo. You got a polite like, all right, this get is trash. Fuck, get the fuck by white people. You Yo, got to get the fuck up out of here by white people. <laughs> At a brewery, bro. A, they're drunk off a of beer. I was like, this is the easiest place to make people laugh, bottomless and you got beer. Boo. <laughs> bottomless beer, and they said, get the fuck up out of here. Yo, that's when you know you was trash, bro. <laughs> that was the highlight of that shit. Oh, man. I forgot that happened, bro. Now you said that, because me and my homie like, boy, this nigga is tor- terrible back here. Yeah, no, nah, that wasn't. Once he said the joke about the train, I'm like, nigga, we are in Georgia, bro. Don't nobody ride trains like that. Yeah, the martyr take you but so many places. Yeah, it's like, don't nobody be on the train that much. We don't care. Right. Then it just went... <laughs> Bart is a crime scene waiting to happen. There ain't nobody getting on that. <laughs> Unless you go to a, a soccer game. That's the only time people go in there. Right. Or a football game. That's it. it that's all. That makes sense. That, yeah, that's the only time you're going to go to a Taylor Swift concert. Because if you don't, you're going to have an African who just stole the parking lot charge and you hunted the park. And he Boy. He's going to be gone when you get back. Car was not watched. Definitely be Ethiopians <laughs> with the big forehead. <laughs> It was like, what the fuck, my friend? I thought my, my, my car was, where is he buddy at? $20, parking dollars, lot, nigga. Parking what? lots abandoned, win, window, one win, two windows later. Boy, they that's broke, the worst. They done broke two of them, got a boot. <laughs> oh, that, Shit. and you seen the boot girls that been out here? T- boy, shout out to the boot girls. I don't know yeah. where y'all at, man. Y'all yeah. need to come on this show. Shout out to them, Because $50 to get my boot off as opposed to 175 to pay, I'm with that. Hey, before then, I thought about just ordering me four boots off Amazon, boot my own shit. Man. So they don't boot it? It's already booted. Oh, All that's four smart. of them booted. Oh, that's smart. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I'm part my shit anywhere. All on booted. That's so smart. Worst case scenario, so I'm going to break my glass, but I still got my car. Yep, that's right. You, <laughs> and he can just click, click, get click, the boots off. I'm out. Yeah. Oh, man. Watch. You finna start seeing everybody. I might just put them motherfuckers out of business by you, saying that nah, shit. Nah, they, gonna, they was on the news the other day. They, they up. They yeah, up. Yeah, no. They yeah, up. No. That shit crazy. It made them news. But that shit be crazy, though. Like, for real, like... You got to text uh, some, some nigga burn a phone $75 to get a boot off. They be like, this stupid. Like, come this on, so man. so stupid. I done got caught one time. I had to do 300 in a day, man. I had told... They n- hit you for 300 worth of dollars of boots? Man, I had parked in a spot, and I told somebody that was working with me parking in the same spot. We both got boots. I like, bro, I get your boot off, nigga. 300 I was so hurt, bro. I was so hurt, bro. I was like, nigga, we, we, oh, shit, just parked in the goddamn shit. Like, those niggas know they got the leverage. They'll charge you whatever. How bad do you want to drive again? <laughs> I was like, I'll wait till Amazon for a day to get this key. <laughs> I'm going to wait. Go right back. Hey, just walk around with a boot key. No, absolutely. Oh, what? That's what, that's what them girls doing yeah, with the ski mask and the boot key. I'm crazy, man. Living, bro. Man, I'm telling you, Atlanta, Atlanta is a different place, man. It is a crazy place. Yeah, motherfuckers make a business off of anything. Man, I done been in some places. They get a hustle off of anything. I done been in some places that you be like, how is it? Like, you'll have, like, is it, we having a show here? Where the show at? Then you go and sign, like, oh, shit. Yeah. This is nice as hell. Yeah. The outside don't look like shit. Outside be looking like a trap house. Go Band inside. Dope. Look like the Met Gala. Yeah, it'd be nice as hell. Be like, like, they playing violins and got doors flying like. <laughs> got doves. Kind of fucking matrix that I just walk into. Bro, it'd be heavy <laughs> messed up. Like, what? What? Whoa. Whoa. Especially that? them little back alley ones that have oh. you walk through the door, then you gotta walk through like these little dark stairwells. Y'all know the hell I'm talking about. Walk through these little yep. dark stairwells to these little private events. Mm-hmm. The whole time you don't know niggas in here shooting no coat here or whatever. <laughs> Smell like piss in the hallway, then you walk in. It's just like. It's but so beautiful in here. You'd be like, boy, I should have told us before this, because this was scary. Yeah. The whole place, we get here, girls are scared and worried. <laughs> when the girls like, I was I was not pulling up without you, Keisha. Hey. That's hey. what you know, is that, that's an Atlanta shit. Yeah, for real. But, yeah, no, uh, we got Keisha's out here. We don't got Karen's and Jeremy's. Yeah. We got, we got Bryce's yeah. and Tanner's yeah. and Buckhead. Yeah. Bro, we had, <laughs> bro, I went into the owner of Zaxby's son, bro. He, Wait, what? So the people who own Zaxby's, like, the, like yeah, the, the the franchise, yeah, yeah, his son be coming to comedy shows, bro. One of my homeboys, right. yeah, and I didn't even know, like, yeah, man, my, my dad owns Zaxby's. I was like, Wait, what? It's like, damn, you out here living, bro. Like, he owns, a Zaxby's or he he owns, owns Zaxby. Zaxby, the whole <laughs> Zaxby. Oh, yeah, his paper different. Crazy different. Yeah, I was like, oh different. yeah. Dude. When I start seeing a lot of Teslas, I'd be like, yeah, this is, y'all got uh, Zaxby money, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're booting up in sync. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo. Uh, hey, make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. Tell them where they can find you online, yeah, too. Yeah, man. Like and subscribe. There's no draws for real. And then, you know, you got to follow me at Big Papa Wolf. I'm easy to find. Big Papa Wolf. Go on my bio. All my other links are there. At Messiah. Or you can just type in Lone Wolf Mafia if you on anything on Google. Spell that out, too, because people listen to audio only. Oh, yeah. Lone Wolf Mafia. L O N E. Wolf. Like the animal. <laughs> Like the animal Mafia You feel me Or you can just type in the brand Straight up at Messiah You feel me So it's just M-A-H-S-Y-I-A-N And we in there Big Papa Wolf In the building I made it mama I'm on the No Draws podcast We out here You see us Yeah Black excellence in the building And he got the goals And he got his own custom fit on Yes sir Make sure y'all go get Some of them clothes He got putting out of here Cause there ain't nothing You ever gonna see online At a Jimmy Jazz DTLR no, Foot no, Locker sir. None of that No sir Man it's one of a kind It's made like no other Shout out to All the homies That been rocking with me Since day one We here now And we just continue to go up Yep. We out. That's a great that's a good episode, bro. Oh yeah, nah, for sure. You should definitely